little big miracle. Do you have Nigeria in Abitant. Let's make a toast to the hustle. Because living in Nigeria is not a piece of cake. Seriously. So the Nigerian leaders decided to change the currency and gave 31st January 2023 as the deadline for acceptance of old currency notes. If it was in a world where the system is organized and leaders are not working against themselves, an announcement and launch of new currency will be made and then gradually old notes will be withdrawn completely out of circulation. But in the country where we find ourselves is the opposite. I support the governor of Kaduna State, Nasib Ahmed el in a speech where he said some states have deposited all their old Naira notes but have no access to the new Naira notes. Why some states are yet to deposit their old Naira notes because there is no functioning financial institution in their locality. My village is an example. My village is under Kogi State by the name Ege, and there is no single bank there. This is because robbers always go there to rob the bank. So all the financial institutions in Nigeria decided to close down their branches there. The authorities need to find a solution to this problem because a town or village without a financial institution is far away from development. Buying and selling or cannot flourish properly in such environment. The new Naira note is not circulated to the Nigerian populace, but we obey out of panic that after 31st of January 2023, the old note might not be acceptable anymore. A lot of Nigerian inhabitants took their old Naira note to the bank. Some of us decided to spend it all in buying goods. But while we were doing this, I was also wondering where and how we will get access to new notes. Fortunately and unfortunately, on 31st of January 2023, it was announced again that the authorities added 10 extra days. Though it was too late for most of us because we had already deposited all our old Naira notes at our various banks without having the new Naira note at hand. And now we are stranded and even panicking the more because both the old and the new Naira note is not available at the bank's ATM machines. And not all transactions can be done via POS or bank transfer for petty cash transactions like transportation from one location to another, ETC. And besides, most of the time, there is no bank network. But before all these problems started, on 27th of January 2023, I was having a serious conflict within myself because I remember that it's like I once kept some cash in my luggage bag filled with clothes in the house where I kept my stuff. And I might not have the chance to go back before 31st of January 2023 to spend the money. So I was contemplating either to go back and check but I felt the amount of cash in the bag was not worth the stress. And again, I can't remember if I have spent the money or not. So I said to myself, I hope I have spent that note. In case you are wondering, I kept the Naira note in there because I always forget my transportation in the office. I remember I won't forget my transportation in the office, went to the bus stop, enter public transport, without a dime and when I got to the middle of my journey, I shouted Mudan, a Yoruba expression meaning I am in trouble within me. This is because I forgot my transportation fare in my place of work. I was too scared that the driver might not believe me and would disgrace me. At this point, I was remembering Pastor Remus comedy skit where a taxi driver disgraced him for not having money. Pay. But thank God for the driver who forgave me and fellow passengers gave me 100 naira to take Keke to my final destination. To return back to work the following morning, it was a sister in Christ that lent me 500 naira. So this is why I always make sure I have little cash where I stay in case of any emergency need of cash. So after a week of not going to where I stay, Due to the confusion in the country and lack of transportation fare, I was able to go 
during the week and I went straight to my luggage bag where I kept my clothes. Going through it, I was able to find two 500 Naira notes. That is 1000 Naira notes. This cause for celebration. It was like a miracle. I mean, mistake turns to miracle, right? <laughs> and at that moment, I wish I had forgotten up to 5,000 Naira. I was like, thank God I forgot this money in the first place. Nothing happened by mistake. There is always a reason behind everything that is happening to us as women. When negative things happen to us, as a result of our action or inaction, we are quick to interpret it as mistake. But when positive things happen, we see it as miracle. One thousand naira means nothing, right? But it solved my transportation fare problem for that day. May all our actions and inactions always turn to positivity for us all. Amen. Best regard, Empress Kofuwola. Nigeria, peace, not the one.